Heating your home is a huge part of life here in Maine. But if you don't want to use oil, what are some of the alternatives? Well, to find out, we've come to the experts here at Granville Stone, and we're joined by the owner, Ned Jennings. Ned, how are you doing? Good, John. You? Thanks for having us in. Oh, it's good to see you. You guys are known as a hardscape business, uh, so maybe tell us a little overview of what you guys do. Okay, well, in the hardscape side, we do a lot of natural stone, a lot of granite, uh, concrete retaining walls, concrete pavers for outdoor patios, uh, retaining walls if you have a terrace uh, type situation behind your home. Uh, granite figurines, uh, pretty much anything that doesn't live that deals with landscaping we can supply you with. Okay. Well, you're also into the hearth business, as folks can see behind us here. Yes. And maybe you can answer some of the misconceptions, uh, and maybe we can start with pellet stoves. Because sure. I, I know last year there was a huge run on them. I'm not sure people, including myself, really know what they're all about. So maybe you can help right. us out. Last year there was a lot of panic buying because of the price of oil. And a lot of people got educated on how to use a pellet stove, sure. what the advantages are of a pellet stove. Primarily advantage is convenience. The yeah. pellets come in a 40 pound bag. Uh, most of these stoves will burn a bag every 24 hours. So it's a very inexpensive heating source. It's warm, it's comfortable, it's dry. Right. Uh, generally it brings the family together as well because you're living in a smaller space because of the amount of heat that you're using. So Ned, what actually are these pellets made out of? What are they? They're all natural wood and uh, our pellets are all from the state of Maine. They're wood that's been uh, extremely dried in a kiln, and yep. then they're pushed through an extruder. And that extruder generates a tremendous amount of heat, which is where you see the glaze. Right. But that is all from uh, the natural wood fiber. The glaze is generated from the high temperature of the pellet, yep. and, it, and it seals it up so that it's, uh, it stays hard and it stays in that shape. And the auger motor puts it into the fire pit, and you get a fire. Clean hands. Clean hands, no spiders. Does it crank out a bunch of uh, BTUs here? This one will put out about 48,000 BTUs yeah. on high. And generally, they run on medium to medium high, which is in the 35,000 BTU per hour range. And this will heat about 1,800 square feet. So now, if people are interested in uh, gas, I see you have a lot of choices here. What are some of the advantages? Well, gas is quick and easy. Uh, you just, with a remote control, you can control it from the easy chair. It's, right. it's non-pollutant, it's very clean. Uh, and it's very reasonably priced as compared to other sources of heat. But I think most people like it because it's on and off. It's, uh, you can turn it on when you want it, you turn it off and it's instant heat and it's very convenient. All right, Ned, well, my personal favorite is the wood stove. Mm -hmm. So uh, wood has been popular here in Maine uh, for a long time. Is oh, it still going strong? Forever, back in the log cabins, you know, right. in fireplaces. Yeah, wood is still a very popular uh, source of heat, and they like wood because it can control the source of their, of their fuel. Right. Uh, pellets or gas or whatever, you know, it's an outside source. So people are very uh, conscious about being able to control their own fuel source and cut their own trees yeah. down. And it's a bit of work, but uh, it has a great heat. It does. Heat just six times. Right. And in terms of BTUs, you can really crank out some heat yeah. from a wood stove. Yeah, this, this stove, you can feel just by standing here, is, is uh, rated at 80,000 BTUs. But right. if you put in some good quality hard, dry hardwood, uh, you could get 90 to right. plus BTUs per hour out of it. So if people want to find you, uh, how should they go about it? Uh, we're on the Bar Harbor Road in Holden. We're about uh, five miles east of Brewer. And uh, we have a second location in Ellsworth uh, on the Down East Highway just outside of town. And uh, we're happy to take care of you anytime you want to come over. All right. Well, thanks for spending some time. I'll hey. let you get out of the heat. Yeah, well, it is warm here. All right. Yeah, thank you. Don't get left out in the cold this winter. Remember the guys here at Granville Stone. They can help you find whatever stove is right for you. You can also check them on the web at granvillestone.com.